Thank you very much. Since we are already uh, 20 minutes uh, late behind the proper schedule to finish the program, uh, I will not be uh, taking more time. So I would like to invite uh, Mr. Bhusant Ladar, sir, uh, to share the, uh, to wrap up and share the outstanding dis discussion uh, of the training. Is this is the not the last day. Tomorrow is the last day. As we have on-site visit, in-person visit. So I'd like to invite Bhushan sir to wrap up the training, what's the training, and also briefly share about the field visit for tomorrow. And also close the uh, virtual training session. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Shankar. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for um, staying with us for three days and all the way to the end, although it's already 20 minutes past five, um, we still have 21 participants here. Um, some of them, of course, are organizers, but um, thank you for your patience. And I hope it has been useful for you. And thank you to all the speakers, um, Harm this morning, and, and, and then, you know, Sagar, Bharat Mukunda, all of you, you have been fabulous. I think, you know, that my key takeaways from the past three days uh, would be one, um, you know, this has been a good, this has provided a good overview for the EV ecosystem as a whole, uh, both globally and in Nepal. Um, there's a lot that's happening and we still have to learn a lot. This is just, uh, we've been, we've given, we've been given a good overview, but, and, and we have deep dived into um, charging infrastructure, technical issues, even retrofitting yesterday, but um, there's still a lot to learn. Um, second, I think we can, there's a lot of activities going around all over the world. Um, and we can learn a lot from Europe, from different places in Asia, and particularly India, where we have a similar culture in terms of how we drive, the kind of vehicles we drive, the traffic pattern, and so on. Um, so I think there's a lot we can learn from India as well. And then they have done a lot of work, both in terms of research, in terms of policy, and of course, a lot of our vehicles are coming from India, and of course, China as well. Um, but at the same time, there's been some good experiences in Nepal as well. I mean, today we saw a lot of these little charging stations that have been established uh, mainly by the private sector through their own initiative. And I think with that, we can learn quite a bit and um, that will pave the way as we move forward. So I think this is overall, this has been a good experience um, to learn what's happening in um, abroad as well as in Nepal. Um, and it's good to see the interest shown by um, quite a few participants in you know, asking questions and getting engaged in these discussions, although in an online format, sometimes that's a little difficult to do. Um, so tomorrow we'll actually have a in-person um, training, more of a visit to Digo's um, workshop where they have their charging infrastructure. They have everything from a motorcycle to a bus, um, an electric motorcycle to a bus there, so that you can actually see it, feel it, um, talk to them about it. And if you really are interested um, in, in joining us, it's, it's not going to be a three hour session. It's probably just going to be just about an hour and a half or so. You can um, join us. Of course, you need to be in Kathmandu for that. Um, in Kathmandu, in Naksal, which is, and their workshop is right, located right next to the Marriott Hotel over there. Um, you can see the map in the, um, in, in the website um, and um, you can register. The, I think the registration um, link is in the chat box. If not, can you please um, put it there? We can accommodate at the most um, 20 people um, to participate um, in this because we don't want to create a big crowd. But um, I think I just learned that there's so far about 10 people have signed up. So I think we can you know, take up some more people if necessary. And um, it'll be a very informal, informative um, interaction, interaction that we will do with people who are actually working in it. So you, you'll see what is happening and you'll experience it. This, of course, is the first of the trainings that we're going to do in Kathmandu um, through Solutions Plus project. So this is not the end of it. And please let us know what kind of training could be useful um, for you in the future, whether you come from an um, academic um, environment, whether you're, you're teaching or are studying, or you're from the government or the private sector. If there's anything um, out of these you know, three days, you feel that this is an area where we want to, um, where we could benefit more um, from experiences in Europe, as well as um, different places in Asia, please let us know. Um, we'll try to organize these trainings. Um, because of the pandemic, a lot of these trainings would be um, online, but as we move forward, we may um, organize some in-person trainings as well. 
And as we move forward, I think there's a lot, as I said, happening in Nepal. Um, and from Saja Yatat side as well, I'd like to say that Saja Yatat will probably be putting up its um, charging station, which will be the biggest charging station in Nepal once it's installed. Um, as Mukunda said earlier, um, 20 chargers, uh, mainly for buses. And these would also be available for other um, vehicles once the buses leave the depot um, in the morning. So um, that is something we're going to do. We're going to be operating and maintaining buses as well. Of course, um, Murkandaji and his team is going to help us with that. Um, there'll be 40 buses that we'll be doing, and plus four more that, um, small sightseeing buses that will be coming for, to us, um, mainly to, to operate in Laritpur area. So um, we'll be doing quite a bit of work in this area, and then plus we're working on um, conversion. Um, of a diesel bus to um, electric. So that is something we're working on. So if you want to, be, if you're more in, interested in listening more to it, um, learning about it, you can contact us. Plus we'll also be going, working on some Safa Tempo um, improvement as well through Solutions Plus. So there's a lot that's happening. Please keep in touch. And for now, I think um, we've already gone 25 past the hour. So I'd like to say thank you very much for being with us and I'll see, we'll see um, some of you tomorrow. And a lot of you, please keep in touch. Um, you know where Sazayata is. If you're in Kathmandu, Pulchok, um, it's in Pulchok. You can, or you can keep in touch through email. So with that, I'd like to close the session, and um, thank you again for to all the organizers. Um, you know, Clean Air Asia, um, Wuppertal, and everybody else who has uh, helped. I'm not naming individuals. Of course, there are quite a few people who have helped in this process. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you. Thank you, and see you next time.